Stuck in limbo at Libya's border, tens of thousands of sub-Saharan African refugees fleeing the Libyan conflict found themselves stranded with no possibility of going home. The European Commission was at the forefront of the humanitarian response in Libya with funding of over 70 million euro. This included a large contribution to the International Organization for Migration, the IOM. Funds were allocated specifically for the reintegration of Chadian migrants based in Libya and returning to Chad. The IOM organized a convoy of trucks to make the long and arduous journey south, from the IOM center in Seba in Libya, all the way to the Chadian capital in Jemina. There were stops at the IOM center in Zuake, at the Chad-Niger border, and Faya, a town in northern Chad. IOM is the European Commission Humanitarian Aid Department's key partner for the response to people fleeing from Libya into Chad. Over the last seven months, IOM has provided transport and essential facilities to returnees. Our objective is to help our brothers who are fleeing from the conflict in Libya. We are helping them especially in the areas of transport, sanitation and nutrition. Some of the recently evacuated migrants described the dangers they endured as they crossed the Libyan desert to reach Niger and Chad. They broke my shoulder and took my money, 11,500 Libyan dinars. After that, IOM brought me here to my country and I feel safe. In Libya, they seized everybody with black skin and considered them as mercenaries. They put thousands in prison. The evacuated migrants, comprising of 12 different nationalities but mainly Chadians, were provided with emergency food, water and medical assistance by the waiting IOM staff as they crossed into the remote Chadian border village of Zuake. From there, IOM staff escorted the convoy to Faya Lago and then to the capital, N'Djamena, for the last difficult part of the desert journey home. At Faya, all the migrants were registered for assistance by the IOM and were provided with help to return to their homes in Chad or to other countries via the Chadian capital. <laughs> 